Welcome to After School Reviews. This is a Halloween episode. If you didn't know, it's already October. There's going to be nothing but scary reviews on here for this month. And the first figure, or the second figure we're looking at, is another Freddy. It's the original Nightmare on Elm Street Ultimate Freddy they released. Now, this figure's pretty old. Now, now looking at the box, I'm kind of thinking something's really funky with it. Uh, but it's it's got some wear and tear, but I will say... This front cover is just great. Usually what they do here is take the original posters or the most memorable poster or the just the VHS poster. And I think that's what they did here because this is the one everybody knows for Nightmare on Elm Street. Top, we get a picture of Freddy from what it looks like from part three. Right there. And this is Nightmare on Elm Street with the green the side. It says 30th, 30th anniversary Ult Freddy Nightmare on Elm Street right there. On the back, we get some images of Freddy figure right there and a little read up of Nightmare on Elm Street the first one and we get some also details of the other accessories and you can also since this is an ultimate figure you can open this up and see what's inside there it is the glorious Freddy now I'll get into what's wrong with Freddy here in the next few seconds so let's go ahead and open this figure up here is Freddy out of the package this is the first Ultimate Freddy we ever got. Uh, not not got, but this is the first one we had when it got released. And when I first got it, I was like, oh my gosh, because I've never had a Freddy figure before. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you the problems with these figures, with the accessories, and then I'll get what the main problem is here with Freddy. So we're going to put him back here with the F score view sign there and the background, the cool Terminator stuff. He'll be, he'll be good there, Freddy, trust me. So now I'm going to show you the accessories he comes with. This accessory is the Freddy when he takes, when she, Tina, yeah, Tina like reaches up and she peels off the little skin flap here on Freddy and it looks really, really nasty. You can see all the pinks and stuff in there. It just, it looks really, really nice. You can see also the other blacks and tans in there. Next is this little hand, and it's almost dark, too dark, like too much of a black wash on his hand, but it's, I guess, okay again. But it does have really nice, good, uh, green, gooey slime in there, and it looks, it just looks pretty nice. It's not, like, horrible or anything. Um, I love this finger probably the most, because it's, like, gone in this oozing. This one almost looks like it's a long pinky with green. So, it's got really short fingernails. You guys know what I'm talking about. One comment's going to say about my fingernails, and you know, I cut them, but it's just because the way I mess with these figures, I've got to keep them, uh, or it will hurt when I do stuff with them. Here's the last accessory. So here's the base of the head. Okay, a normal peg, right? Now, here it is. Now, it might not look great to you guys, but I'm going to say I love this new head. Now, when I got this one, if you've actually seen my original review, this head looked like crap. So what I've actually done is painted red in there more red it was pink and gave it a clear shine to it to where it glistens as if he's just all bloody and it turned out kind of good also, it was it almost had black on the brush that's why it's kind of black but to be honest it turned out pretty good uh, but if you guys hate it I do cut I've done more custom Freddy's than any other figure because that's all I've done is custom things on Freddy because they usually aren't how I want them and you'll see that with my other Freddy review that's coming up soon he also comes with this Tina mask or whatever he wears when he's chasing Nancy. And he says, Nancy, help me from... And then he rips it off and says, Freddy, and it's, it looks really cool. And I'll show you that that grooves into this head right here. Or maybe this one? Let me check. Okay, yes, it snaps on with the grumpy head uh, right there. And this actually, this grumpy head was the new head we got. We got the Smiling Fred when, from the original figure line when we got this original figure released. Okay, now let's see Freddy. Now there is a problem. Everybody knows what I'm talking about here. Uh, now, not particularly with this figure do we have problems, but NECA's quality control. And this figure, if you look at the waist and I swivel it, you see what's wrong here? See how wobbly these are? If I bend the knees here, which is somehow I can actually do, and I separate them like this, you can see at the base here, we have these metal wires. Now, those aren't supposed to be there. Those are the things that hold the figure usually in the box. And you can also see I painted that black. But if we lift up the shirt, you can see the wires in there. And I've had to twist it into the torso area. But it's actually somehow worked. I did super glue it. 
hot glued, I mean, but that didn't work. And this has actually worked, so it's working. It's fine. He stands. I'm not going to, like, mess with him or anything. So he works. So let's just look a little bit more of the detail. So let's look at this detail on this head. Uh, this head actually is my favorite of all of the ones here. That's why I usually have him like this one. Um, so you can see this one's painted really nice. It's already got the gloss on there, the dark reds and everything. So that's... It's just my favorite head. I wish I could zoom in like my old camera, but I can't, or it'll break out of focus. So, and I can't really bend this here because the table's here. So. But teeth are okay. Everything looks good with this head, and especially with the hat. The hat is a black with kind of a brown colors added to it, and it's rubbery, so it fits on there perfectly. This sweater, though, does have a little drawbacks. It's that right there. You see how the green's supposed to be there, but it's not all the way there and then down here it's supposed to be up there but it's kind of sideways up here it looks great but everywhere else it's just crappy and then the glove on this one is actually pretty nice as well same thing with the pants pants are good um they're not horrible and same thing with the shoes uh they got leg articulation and the reason i broke this figure it wasn't it was it was my fault it wasn't NECA's. uh i saw i was getting a part two because i wanted a part two freddy it's my, like, probably my favorite look. This actually looks really nice now uh, that I look at it. But I, you know, really wanted a part two, and I'm still probably going to get the other part two. But I was like, hey, you know, I like the part two version better, so I was going to pop these legs off and put them onto that one. And I'm happy I didn't do it vice versa, because then if I would have broke the part two Freddy, I would have been completely out of here. But these I could actually fix, because he has movable legs still. So he, if, like, if, he, if this part's not correct, I can still move him. But those are just stiffs and... They bend down here, and he's kind of bent in a certain way because he's older, and he was, like, kind of heated. He, he got weird. He got a work. That's really it. And I'm going to just give you some cool, um, not photos, just videos. You know what I'm talking about. Let's just do this. This is what it looks like with the alternate head right there, and if you want to see him with the other head, I'll do that now. Here's what Freddy looks like with the other head, and he looks really mad. And also with this one, you can... And you can clearly see what he looks like here with this head. Um, with the hat on, he looks really mad. It reminds me of the part 5 face they did that nobody liked. But, oh, that's the head they did. Oh, I wonder what I was going to do now. There we go. So that's how the Tina head fits on there with this whole figure. Looks really nice. I'm going to now swap it out with the other hand. And there he is with his alternate hand. And I can't, you can't really do anything with this. Uh, I mean, you can pose it with him, but it's really just a accessory that they gave us the phone you could give it with like a custom tina or nancy figure which would look really cool but yeah i'm gonna try and do a thumbnail video or a thumbnail picture now and uh, do my thoughts on this here is freddy next to the terminator the pescadero escape one figure uh the 800 so thank you guys for watching after school reviews today we we're having a look at the nightmare on elm street 30th anniversary ultimate freddy from a nightmare on elm street don't forget to like comment, and subscribe.